Hey guys, Kim here. I got a large list of people from the comment section of the first one and decided that I couldn't possibly cram all of them into one episode. Especially since before I even uploaded watching my poor computer render a 13 minute video for an hour straight, I decided to limit it to 5 people per episode. And it's mostly first come first serve. I don't have the greatest memory so I've written down everyone who asked. If you aren't in this episode and you asked, don't worry, you'll certainly be in the next one. I also want to point out that this shouldn't compel you to want to redo your parts you wanted me to review. I'm trying to generalize my critique a bit more so that they can be applied to any of your future projects. Also, how do you guys like my OC redesign? She's so much easier to draw and animate now. With that being said, I'll get on to the reviews. First part up is insert names uncover part. Honestly, you know how I said earlier that I'm trying to generalize my critiques? Well, it's really hard not to nitpick with this part. I did notice some small things with this, like how the ear disappears. I have no clue. Dude, this part is adorable. I guess, uh, maybe add a little more layering of the ground behind these trees in the back to give more depth to the background. Next part is Like a Record Part 14 by Foxstar Animations. I really love the coloring in this and your style is super adorable. I've seen this map lurking around YouTube and I'm looking forward to seeing the completed project. My critique is aimed at the last part with the characters scrolling past on the screen. I feel like it doesn't fit with the rest of the part, where the first character is dancing around all happy and stuff and then these characters look like they're about to go to war or something. Them scrolling past also seems a bit stuttering, and if you're going to have the characters loop over again, I'd recommend having it be the same pace as before. So that's my only advice. Make the characters a little more lively and keep the movement consistent. I know that second part is easier said than done. S still, this makes me a little more excited for the completed map. Here's Kaiser Zero's We Are Ignited map part. You have a pretty distinct style. I feel like I'd be able to recognize you in a map without seeing your name. And I like the story behind it too, with the one creature being taken over and attacking. And before I say my criticism, let me just point out to you viewers that they only have 10 subscribers. So if you like this part as much as I do, go subscribe. Anyway, the part looks so good and there are a few things I'd add that would make it even better. Like for the beginning part, maybe have the scary face engulf the screen. The example that comes to mind with this is the Bowser and Mario games, whenever he appears his like headshot silhouette thing takes over the screen. Another thing would be to work on the pacing a little bit in the end. I know you don't have much time left in this part, but it's hard to catch everything that happens. Still this part matches well with the song, and I've stressed in episode 1 none of my criticisms would really change how well these parts would flow in the completed map. So yeah. Here's Tiger Eye 6302's map part when Christmas comes to town. With all this Christmas cheer, it's hard to be alone. I was originally going to critique your hostage map part, but uh, whoops, I procrastinated so bad on this and you have newer parts on your channel now, so yeah. Hope you don't mind. You kept everything in this consistent, and the fact that you managed to do all of this in a day is really impressive. I can't imagine. Like, the lighting is all the same angle, the soft tweening matches the music. I was already super hyped for Christmas, but now I'm like, turbo mode. I want to know how you draw this character with so much consistency. My little nitpick is that the background kind of lacks depth. Unless you were going for a foggy blizzard sort of thing. In which case, I'd worry for the characters. Go seek shelter, stay warm, and drink some cocoa. That goes for the rest of you viewers. Y'all better be staying warm out there. But like, I'm more impressed by the fact that you can draw tree branches so well without leaves. Is it sketch or squetch? Squetch is a really fun thing to say, so I'll stick with it until corrected. Here I have Squetch's Imagine a World Gone Insane map part. Just close your eyes and say the word. Everything's gonna be alright. Yeah. It appears to be a palette map that makes me feel like I'm in the 70s. I'm loving it. 
I'm loving the movement, the use of the colors, the use of the eye pan to transition to another scene. The animation is pretty good, and I love your style. I'd recommend working on bird anatomy. I know it's hard. I dread drawing birds. I can never get them right. Just the part here where the bird is flapping its wings, halting, is what needs work. It doesn't look too natural. I'd recommend looking up references of birds in that position, or maybe like, uh, videos of a bird flying, like animations, various things that you could use to look up the reference. Well, that's all I got for now. Remember, if you weren't in this episode, you'll be in the next one, and if you want a part reviewed, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!